Namaskar everyone, welcome to a new day, welcome to 2024. It's important to recognize that our soul is having a human experience. And our soul is in yet another incarnation. Incarnate flesh. The goal <laughs> is not to eat and drink and make merry. The goal is not just to acquire property. And all the treasures of the world, as Jesus would say. The goal is to remember who you are. A soul in a body, an immortal soul in a body. Is that your consciousness? That you are an immortal soul in the human body? Do you recognize that this is a human animal and that we should not spoil it? That we should not give way to animal habits, but we should give way to soul's impulse. What is the impulse of your soul? What is your soul longing for? True love, the peace, for unity, for connection with the divine, for contentment. That's what your soul is longing for, freedom from all bondage or limitation. That's what your soul is longing for. If you can go deeper within to a little bit of soul consciousness, you'll realize that your soul is seeking something differently to the human animal. You know, if you were to ride a horse, you realize that you need to hold the reins firm, right? And not only that, you need to have a good relationship with the horse. <laughs> because if you don't, <laughs> If you don't have a good relationship with the animal, it can topple you. Especially if it's a resource. You need to have a good relationship with this animal. You need to enjoy living in the animal body. Feed it well. Make it comfortable. so that you can have a joyful experience in the human body. Do you realize that the human body was made for movement? All those of us who are couch potatoes, and we love to sleep all day, that's not what a human body is designed for, or to fill the stomach because of pleasure. <laughs> no. Eat and enjoy, but don't overfill. Because you need to enjoy the experience of eating. But don't overeat. Don't oversleep. Don't overwork. All these excesses are, are bad for the health of the body. The body should be treated like how we treat a pet. We take it to the vet. We make sure it's healthy. We feed it only as much as necessary. And these animals are smart, right? They eat just what they need to. Unless we spice up the food. No, no, no. Animals in nature just eat what they need. Domesticated animals might, might be a little different, but we need to train them to be as though they're in the wild. Now we need to train ourselves like that. <laughs> Feed the body only as necessary. Put it to sleep only as necessary. But love to work. 
love to move the body. Oh my God, you can't imagine how exciting it is when you can channel energy from the chakra and feel the vitality moving into the body, then it's energy and body in motion. That's what my singing is. It's energy and body in marvelous motion. Do you see when I'm singing? My hands move. My body moves. My voice moves. I'm using space. I'm using sound. I'm using mudras. I'm flowing. Especially when it's cute. But the goal of all of this is to expand the consciousness and to remember our God nature. Then we can truly enjoy the human experience. So that self-transformation is required. That going within, that contemplation as to who I am, that meditation practice of seeking in the inner space, that making contact with all these energy centers within you, and then using all of this fully in the human experience. Not just for your ego purpose, but to be a blessing to the world. To be a blessing to life. How many of you are just accumulating money for yourself? How much do you share? How much do you help the world around you? Of course, we need to survive. And the more we have, the more we can help. So we need to thrive. We need to grow. But share a little bit. Share. Have sharing consciousness. Observe the world around you. And give a helping hand. Smile to others. Speak nicely to them. Make the world a better place. And you know what is really alarming? That in our own home, we don't create that unity with, with each one, some of us. And we fight amongst our own brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers. Where does unity begin? It begins within me, of course, that I may be united with all of me, and then it goes to the home. And then it goes to the community. And then it goes to the world, which includes all living beings and nature. And if we don't transform ourselves, how are we going to bring light to the world? That's why I always say, please, don't be a burden to your world. Don't bring more darkness. Don't bring more aggression and greed and jealousy and pride. Don't bring more of that. That's an energy that feeds the similar energy in the space. Don't bring that. Bring the soul's most beautiful energy into your space. That's why you came into this body. To light up the inner space. And to spread that light into the outer space. That's why you came into this body. You may have forgotten, but I try to remind you. And if you're a little bit aware, you'll begin to catch what I say. But if you're tamasic and dull, you wouldn't really listen to what I say. But if you're a little bit aware, what I say will make sense to you. It will be etched in your mind, and you will not forget it. I will not have to remind you so many times. Not that I have a problem in reminding you, but I wish that you would catch it the first time. And you, do you know what? If we stay in the 
tamas in the darkness and in negative energies, creating more negative patterns. That's what we attract from the universe around us. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. What you offer to life is what will come back to you. If you spread love, love will greet you everywhere. If you are helpful to others, you will always find a helping hand. If you feed others, you will always be fed. That's how the universe works. It's called the law of divine compensation. When you close your hand to hold something and you keep it closed, do you think you will receive more? If you open the hands to give, the hands are open to receive. It is in giving that we receive. And then who is the giver? Where do we get everything from? Not the divine? <laughs> what is ours to keep? What are we going to keep in a lifetime, after the life? I remember when I was young, and I would dream I got this rare coin. <laughs> I'd have repeated dreams about that because I wanted to wake up with a coin. No matter what I do, and I, I'm saying, now, I, now I'll have it. Now this is too real, now I'll have it. And then I, I wake up, and my hands are empty. There's nothing we can take to the beyond from this world, except the good deeds that we do that stay with us, the learnings we have had in the human experience. That will stay with us. That's what Christ meant when he said, Leo treasures, not in this earth, but in heaven, in the inner space. So let's walk the path of self transformation, self knowledge, self enlightenment, and let's be a blessing to our world. Let's spread the light. And let's create a better world. That is the goal of Blue Star. That's what I tirelessly work for. And I hope that in 2024, that you will take a step with me. Let's make it happen together. Let's make it happen together. Have a beautiful Sunday, everyone. Namaskar.